Hey guys, welcome back to another hiking adventure. Today, I'm at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument located in Southern Arizona, straddling the Mexican border. And uh, I'm gonna be doing about roughly maybe three to four hikes here today, spending a whole day here by the way. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys around. It's my first time here. I've always wanted to come here. It looks magnificent so far. And uh, I'm really excited to do this, so let's go check it out. All right, so these giant cactuses are called the Oregon Pipe Cactus, the namesake for this national monument. So the first trail I'm doing right now is called the Desert View Trail, and it's a loop trail. It is a 1.2 miles round trip, and uh, it's located inside the Twin Peaks campground, uh, not far from the visitor center, really. So this trail is also labeled as easy with only 190 feet of elevation gain. So it looks like I'm at the top of the Desert View Trail. I gotta loop down now, but uh, I can see pretty far out there. It's a little hazy in the distance, but I can still see for miles and miles. Look at all these Oregon Pipe cactuses just blooming out of the mountains here. There's so many of them. So it's a pretty sad story about the young ranger who was uh, killed out here, but they did name this visitor center after him. So right now I'm about to do the Ajo Mountain Loop Drive, which is 21 miles. It is partially dirt road. I did double check with a ranger to make sure that a Honda Civic can drive on it, which is what I'm driving right now, and he said yes. So uh, two of my trails that I'm doing today are on this uh, drive, so it should be fun. Let's go. Yeah, so the drive is really not too bad for my car. I'm happy about that. It's nice to be able to drive on a dirt road in a Honda Civic. So the further I drive on this road, the prettier and prettier it gets, really. All right, so I just made it to the Arch Canyon Trail. This trail is 1.2 miles round trip with 200 feet of elevation gain. And then you can totally see the arch right there. So I'm guessing we're gonna get like closer to it.
First time I've ever seen this sign before on a hiking trail. All right, so it looks like I just ended the main part of the trail. The trail does continue on, but it's a scramble, and uh, it scrambles, I think, up to the arch itself, which is a little bit much for somebody hiking alone right now, but this was still an awesome hike, and I do like this canyon I hiked through just now. All right, so it's time to hike back and drive to the next trail. All right, guys, on to the next trail. This is the Bull Pasture Estes Canyon Trail, 3.9 miles round trip, 1,076 feet of elevation gain. The trail's labeled as moderate. All right, so how I'm gonna do this loop is clockwise. I'm gonna go this way. This part's gonna be flat for the most part. And then right here, switchbacks. And then here it's nice and steep. Bull Pasture viewpoint. Back down, this way, and that's it. From everything I've seen online, this one looks like it's going to be my favorite, actually. It looks really, really beautiful. Lots of scenic uh, viewpoints and everything. So this is basically two trails that makes a loop. And I'm gonna start left because I'd rather um, go down steeply than go up steeply. So yeah, this trail has been really nice so far, and we haven't even got to the high points yet. Lots of lots of cacti everywhere. So we got a, a, a lot of saguaros and a whole bunch of Oregon pipe cactuses just everywhere, all over the landscape. With all the filming and not paying attention I'm doing right now, I'm surprised I haven't been poked by anything yet. You know, there was a decent amount of cars in the parking lot earlier, but uh, I don't see a single person right now. I know they're on the trail though, but it's just so spread out that I'm just all by myself out here. Yeah, it's starting to get really warm too. Uh, the sun is so powerful here in Arizona. Like the highs in the 70s, which isn't that bad, but I really feel it. And I feel like the sun's even more powerful than in Vegas. But one thing we do not have in Vegas are organ pipe cactuses or saguaros. Well, just look at this landscape. So beautiful. Alright, looks like I got to the switchbacks now. It's been pretty flat so far until this point. Now I'm going to start going up and getting all my elevation in. So the switchbacks have got my heart going. They're not horrible, but you know, compared to the rest of the hike, this thing's going up. So the good thing is I'm finally blessed with some shade right now. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but it feels really good. All right, so I just reached a trail junction. I'm gonna go to Bull Pasture, which will be a half mile each way, and then get back on the main trail again. So yeah, this part of the hike is really steep with a ton of rock stairs, but the views are just amazing.
looks like I made it to bull pasture. Last part of the hike is definitely the most challenging. Good workout, excellent workout. Yeah, a moderate uh, rating is good. A high moderate maybe, at least toward the end. All right, so I'm back on the main trail again. It looks like one more mile till I get to the parking area. Looks like I'm almost back at the parking lot. I'm tired, but you know what? I think I have one more hike left in me. So I'm gonna get one more in. I got plenty of daylight still. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, now for the last hiking trail of the day. This is called Alamo Canyon. And this trail is located at the Alamo Canyon campground. And this trail is labeled as easy at 2.2 miles round trip, 127 feet of elevation gain. I've seen this with quite a few Chola cactuses where pieces of it are on the ground next to it. I wonder if people are doing that or is it doing that naturally? So being the last trail of the day, I'm glad this trail is super flat and not too rocky, which has been a nice change. Look at this organ pipe cactus. This one has a lot of, I don't know what do you call it, arms, tentacles. I don't know, there's probably a better name for it, but it has a lot of them. I don't think I've seen one with more than this one. My God, it has a lot. I seriously thought that those were two cactuses together, but no, that's just one big one. Interesting abandoned brick building. Let's take a look inside. Oh, okay. No idea what this was, but it's cool. Well, it looks like I'm coming up upon an abandoned farm, ranch, something of the matter. Well, I reached the end of the trail and now it's time to turn back. This was a really nice trail to end my day with. Great hike. All the hikes I did today were great. I really, really was impressed with Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. This has been a really cool experience coming here. And I know I kind of was like iffy about coming here for years. Well, one thing, the distance, how far and remote it is. Another is I didn't know if it was safe because it's so close to Mexican border and uh no i'm i was very impressed especially with the hiking trails you know they were really cool i did about wow four trails today roughly around eight miles in total and uh yeah pretty pretty cool really cool place i'm glad i came and if you have any doubts about coming i would suggest you get it out of your head visit this place and i hope i showed you something new i hope i Gave you an idea of the trails and stuff here and i hope you guys come here so anyways next place i'm going to be heading to is to do some of the trails in the phoenix scottsdale area so be sure to stay tuned for that you guys i really want to thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today if you like the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you have not done so already i would totally love for you to subscribe to my channel so i can take you with me on future hiking adventures around the arizona area or other parts of the nation Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Till next time.